Hey guys, Erica Kastner here, helping you create more time in your day to do the things that are going to rock your world. I had this quick epiphany that I wanted to share with you all today. Yesterday, I was at a very exciting meeting in the Tampa Bay market. Now, for some of you, if you've been following me for a while, you know I live in the Southwest Florida market, but I happened to be up in Tampa yesterday, and I was at an event, and we were all challenged. There was probably about 8 to 12 of us in that room at any given point of the event. And we were all challenged to come up with, in eight words or less, in layman's terms, what do we do? And then what we had to do was identify the two most relevant resources or referral partners that send us business or we get uh, some idea of where we're going to find our clients. And I thought it was really interesting because there was actually this um, whiteboard, if you will, and we were able to write down in eight words or less what we did specifically in layman's terms and the two referral sources that uh, we get a lot of our business from. From that, what we ended up doing was as a group, we would go to the different things on the wall and we would look at what people wrote. So what did they do? What were the referral sources or what were their opportunities of how they got their leads to begin with? And we would put an initial or suggest an opportunity for a connection or something along those lines that we would have to follow up with within the next 48 hours. I thought it was a really relevant activity. And so what I wanna challenge each of one of you watching this today to think about this. If you cannot say in eight words or less what you do for people, we might want to reconsider what product service provide whatever we're doing, we might want to consider tweaking that message. Of course, I want you to have in your back pocket an opportunity to expound upon that message, but let's get very specific in eight words or less what you do for people, maybe include who you specifically help, and identify the two lead referral sources that you get. Or if it's not referral sources, maybe you just identify for people in layman's terms two connections or resources or industries that you would like an introduction to. If we can get clarity on that, it will help you be more productive and give you more of your time back as it relates to growing and thriving in your business. I hope you found this tip helpful. Until next time, I'm Erica Kastner. Take care.